From fighting former UFC champions to outboxing his fellow YouTubers, Jake Paul has shown he isn't afraid of losing. Many believe that he even deserved the win against Tommy Fury. This also includes Israel Adesanya, who thinks he edged it out. The former UFC middleweight champ is no stranger to decision wins or losses in his career. And much like the rest of the world, he thinks that the fight could have gone either way. Izzy admitted that he had nothing insightful to say about the fight. To be honest, he's not really known for his analysis. Analysis. Anyway, like I explained before, he did say that he thought Jake edged it out. But as with combat sports, you never know what's going to happen. To fiddle your way through a fight and he'll be giving all his advice and words of encouragement to Scott to try and do precisely that against Tommy Fury. Oh. The last style bender is sure that Paul's going to be back in the ring soon enough. The fight was close, I'll give you that, but I never felt that Fury was in any danger in it. Sure, Jake tried clipping him with some of his dangerous overhand rights, none of which really connected. It felt as if Tommy could see them coming from a mile away. He never looked better with his movement, and he didn't seem out of place in the ring. That family bloodline is solid when it comes to boxing. From Dillian White. But Izzy is glad that Tommy gets to step outside of it. It's his moment to shine now. He can finally come out of his brother's shadow, according to Adesanya. I mean, that's pressure enough when your big bro's arguably the best heavyweight boxer in history. Even than we hoped. Better. Wow. Sensational. A minute 10 into round number 11. Who would know it would go like this? On top of that, there's the added burden of carrying the family name. The Fury family has been boxing at the highest levels for generations now, and Tommy had to take on a YouTuber. Just imagine if he lost. He'd be a laughingstock inside and outside the family for years. So this win over Jake certainly helps alleviate some of that pressure. 73 to the winner by split decision, Tommy <laughs> TNT. That's why Izzy congratulated him on the win. Tyson Fury sure looked very proud of his brother. I wonder if they would have disowned him if he lost. On the other hand, Logan Paul also kind of looked happy with Jake for trying so hard and going the distance with a pro boxer. Wanted to hold on. Yeah, three or four punch combo that went in there from Fury, and I think that hurt. And oh, uppercut! Again. That was lovely. Right hand, right uppercut, put him away, and he ain't getting up from the He may have lost a split decision, but he'll be back for sure. And he'd want a rematch. For starters, Jake has a clause in his contract that allows him to ask for a run back of the fight if he loses and Tommy wins. So I'm pretty sure he's going to exercise that. Secondly, Tommy just tarnished Jake's perfect unbeaten record. Of course he'd want to get back at him. Like the problem child said, don't judge a man by his wins, judge him by his losses and how he comes back. Izzy repeated this line at the end of his reaction video. He looks to return to the octagon once again to face his old rival Alex Pereira. At two minutes, one second of the fifth round, declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC! And of course, he'll be chasing a win this time. The last style bender has the heart of a champion. He may have lost thrice to Pereira during his kickboxing and MMA career, but he still wants to go up against a guy as dangerous as the Poetan. Good because he's... Oh! oh! That's, That's, what about. That's, That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! That alone makes him special. The line also perfectly sums up Jake's intention to get back in the ring and rumble once again with Tommy. Fighting YouTubers is one thing, but having the guts to step into the ring against pros shows that Jake is pretty serious about this thing. Even though Fury looked way sharper during the match, I'll be really honest here, guys. The fight may have been close, but it was boring as hell. I mean, these two spent more time hugging each other than trying to hit each other. And when they were not clinching, Tommy seemed to have Jake's number. He was too quick for 
for it, reading him like a book and landing shots almost at will. I have no idea how this was a split decision. I'm still not convinced by that knockdown in the final round. Tommy barely lost his footing when the referee started the countdown. And guys, don't even get me started on that ref. I mean, how does that guy still have a job? He had no idea what he was doing in the ring, deducting random points from the fighters for fouls that no one saw. Like, not even in the replays. Surely they could have sent in a better ref. Even Izzy was bored out of his mind. I mean, just look at him watching the match. My man just dozed off in the middle of the fight. If someone like Adesanya does that, it means that there was something definitely wrong. This guy loves watching fights. And if you've seen his reactions before, then you know that he's almost always hyped up for any fight. And he usually has a solid take in most cases. But sleeping through the majority of the fight is not something Izzy makes a habit of doing. Maybe that explains why he had no real insights on the fight. And it also explains why he thought Jake somehow won. Let's be real, the match had no real stakes. So I understand Izzy chose to take a nap during it. This was no title fight. But Jake and Tommy both sold it like it was. I mean, no one should even know these guys right now. Even then, they somehow managed to sell out the whole arena. And if reports are to be believed, they did a crazy number of pay-per-views as well. Call him whatever you like, but you've got to admit, Jake knows how to sell a fight. As I said, no one in the world should know who these guys are. But somehow, audiences of all ages tuned in for the fight. And for the theatrics, face-offs, and interviews before that, I was skeptical about the problem child once. But now I feel that this guy is legit. I mean, sure, he may not be as smooth as Muhammad Ali, or as powerful as Mike Tyson, or a defensive genius like Floyd Mayweather, but he's a boxer for sure, and boxing veterans might not accept him still. I get that. He'll have to prove himself against real boxers in the ring, and I know he won't be challenging for the title, but he's already done a lot for the sport. Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You need to stop ruining my friends, and let's get it on. He has popularized boxing to the world once more. You know Iron Mike was once asked about these influencers trying their luck in boxing, and surprisingly, he shared the same sentiment. These guys are making people take interest in boxing again. Jake may have lost the match, but many pros are now sold on the idea of him being a real deal. The UFC champ Aljamain Sterling congratulated both Jake and Tommy for making a huge purse, and while they have some work to do on their techniques, he was impressed with them all the same. Terrence McKinney was also admiring Jake for his performance on the night. He praised the problem child's chin in particular. Cody Durden, Derek Brunson, and Johnny Walker appreciated both of the fighters for the display. Walker said it was a fun fight, but said these guys weren't that good. Durden and Brunson, on the other hand, remarked how close the match was and how difficult it would have been to score. Arnold Billy Allen was kind of bored by the bout. He commented that Jake and Tommy weren't bad enough to make it funny, but they weren't good enough either to make things interesting. Now that I agree with. Like I told you guys, the referee was really out of place in the ring, and he received some hate from the pros as well. Billy Corintillo, Josh Emmett, and Michael Chiesa, much like many others, agreed that the ref made really bad calls during the bout. Despite that, the two fighters tried making it interesting, and if they want to run it back again, more power to them. That was Izzy's reaction to the Paul vs. Fury fight.